Hey everybody, this is Jim Johnstone. Do you worry about your uh, RV being stolen while it's in storage somewhere, or maybe even in a cat ground where you've left for the day to do some sightseeing? Well, today I've got a solution for you. It's called the Proven Locks Coupler Lock. It's available for Airstreams and many other trailers, and uh, whether it's a bumper pull or a fifth wheel. Let's take a look at it. This is the Proven Industries Proven Locks Coupler Lock. You can see it's a round cylinder. It fits right over the coupler. I'll show you how in a second. It's made out of quarter inch laser cut and welded steel that gives plenty of protection for your lock uh, and your coupler against theft. It's got a, a puck lock here on it and the key is on the bottom. It's a cylindrical seven pin key. Very hard to duplicate. You can't just get one of these at your local Home Depot or hardware store. You've got to go to locksmith to get that. The lock is itself is uh, made out of billet aluminum. It's got a stainless steel cylinder in there. Uh, makes it very difficult to defeat the lock or the locking mechanism. The lock itself is made of three pieces. This part is going to fit over your hitch. This part fits into your hitch so that this goes right where the ball of your uh, trailer hitch would go. You slide the cylinder over these tabs, push it through, and then put the lock on. Push the cylinder up. Push the key up first, push the cylinder up, and now it's locked. It is not going to go anywhere. It's not going to come out. You're not going to bend that uh, quarter inch stick steel with a crowbar. Um, pretty much, you're going to send the thief to another trailer is what you're going to do. Because they won't want to mess with yours. Okay, let's uh, put the lock on. I'll show you how to do that. This uh, part goes up in your ball. Put your uh, latch down. Now we're going to slide the hitch cover over. Make sure you get these two uh, wings in their slots. Can't see that one away from me. There we go. And now we're going to take the uh, puck lock, put it in. And now that hitch is locked. Now you can see. There's some play in there. And you, maybe you can see there's a little gap right here. And you're thinking, yeah, I can put a crowbar in there and I'll have that off in a couple of seconds. Let me tell you, you won't. You will break your crowbar or you'll bend it before you're going to break this lock. The middle edge of this uh, lock cover or hitch coupler cover is going to probably scratch up your... Uh, your hitch a little bit. I've got a welded hitch. They make other locks that go over the bolts if you have a bolted on adjustable hitch to prevent that from being stolen as well. Now some people say what about my chains? You could just take these chains and hook them to your truck if you're a thief and you could drag the trailer away. Of course your tongue wouldn't be lifted up so you might be dragging your tongue jack Tongue jacks are cheap compared to trailers, so we need to have a way to hook these chains up. Okay, so I'm going to put my, uh, my chains on the lock hasp. I'm going to slip the lock hasp through the slot on the bottom of the coupler. Get it up there. And then close the lock and I'm secure. So here's a close-up of the lock. It's on the coupler. You can see it. You can see that there's a little bit of a gap in there, but I don't think you're going to uh, be able to get the lock off because of that. Another problem that we have, and I'll show you when we take the lock off, is the keyhole is down here on the bottom. The 
cylindrical key and I'm going to line that up on the bottom of the lock. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to take my key uh, by feel I'm going to try to get it in the center of the lock here. Well, it's easier to fold the lock with one hand, keep it steady, and then got to pull your uh, put your key in, pull the pin down. Now the lock's going to come off. Take off the uh, cylinder. Take off my chain lock. Here. And now I'm ready to hook up again. So we're here, here we have the uh, Proven Locks coupler lock for Airstream up through year two, 2020. These locks are going to cost you about 295 bucks for the lock plus any applicable sales tax and about $15 for shipping. It's a pretty heavy lock. It's eight or nine pounds. So uh, the good news is it's going to really discourage thieves. The bad news is it is a little awkward to put on and take off as you've seen. It requires me to bend over. I don't like bending over in my old age. Um, if you're spry you won't have a problem. Uh, you can lock the chains. The chains lock through putting your, your own hasp block through this slot, so you will have to buy another hasp block. If you'd like to upgrade to a stainless steel body lock, they can do that for you at 100 bucks, or you can buy one online for probably about a third of that uh, on Amazon or eBay. Again, proven locks. It's the 2516 AS for Airstream coupler lock. They have them for all models of trailers and fifth wheels. They also have wheel locks. So if you're concerned about security, this could be the answer for you. Till next time, this is Jim. I'm signing off.